Hey guys, Ajay this side again and today I'm go I, in this video I'm going to show you how you'd be able to create your own stock trading board using deep Q reinforcement learning. Okay, uh, I believe uh, that the guys who is watching this video has already heard so many things about the prediction system, how a stock market prediction system can be possible using deep learning. So few, most of the people have already tried it because the because very high level API is available you, uh, these days. Anybody who is very less knowledge of programming would be able to create its own prediction system using LSTM. But prob the, the main problem in that prediction system is you get the prediction outcome, but you are to that prediction outcome uh, is not usable until unless you are so much quick that uh, that there must there shouldn't be any delay between the prediction and your action but it is impossible whenever you will get the prediction and uh, on your screen you won't be able to perform trade as soon as you obtain the prediction so that is one of the challenge one of the problem I have encountered so I just I uh, so there is thing, that time I the things came into my mind that it must be automated that whenever the prediction comes on here you will you will be able to perform trade immediately so human can't be that much quick but yeah that is possible with deep Q reinforcement learning okay though you can add a, a simple program to perform the trade but you know the prediction system always predict a particular price movement, not the exact price, exact how much the movement could be possible. And that is also possible with the uh, current indicator people having right now. And those who have sufficient experience of trading, they, uh, they perform very good trades in uh, using those indicators. So these things are nowadays obsolete because new generation don't have this much time to study these indicator to understand graphs the knowledge so what i'm going to show you that how you would be able to create your own trading board with few lines of code and uh, prior to move the main content of the video i would like you to show how the performance of that trading board on 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 the on some unknown real time data i have used apple store for performing that thing okay and and how it is it is actually performing the buy and sell option corresponding to that then i i, I will show you how you would be able to create your own agent because deep reinforcement learning required agent a memory length and a deep learning model for deep learning model i have used here lstm as as it is all time favorite for time series model and uh, thereafter and uh, i just map that uh, before if there is no buy signal then it shouldn't be it can't perform the sell signal or hold signal so for the training purpose the target factor of my reinforcement learning okay is it was buy sell and hold and rest of the thing will be automatically learned by the model so uh, i'm going to show you my output first Thereafter, I'll show you how the how you would be able to create your own program, okay? And then I'll show you how the real time system would be able to yield a result, okay, guys? So let's move forward and see how what are the outcome I have obtained. So this is my output I have obtained uh, using my program. I had run the D my program for almost 120 episodes because the program was very slow and I don't have sufficient time to wait up to its optimum performance because I have to make, make this video also. So this is the this is the output I have obtained. I plot, I built this gra uh, visualization. I have built this graph for the visualization purpose on MATLAB to mark the arrow. So these are the point where the cell is occur. The, the cell call is happen and these are the point where the buy signal is being happen in my data so as you can see here uh, whenever the, the graph p attain its low bottom point it always call a buy signal and whenever it is attain its local minima point it perform the sell okay though the profit was not that much significant yeah but it avoid the losses 
it, it can avoid the losses that a novice person can perform the trade and understand, learn it without significant losses, okay? The third most important thing prior to move to the main content of the video, I would like you to mention that trading, is stock trading is a very risky thing, okay? Until unless you don't have sufficient knowledge, don't put so much money on the trade and believe in your program, okay? There is a, there is required a money management thing to learn the perfect stock trading board. So guys, let's move forward and see the program. I, I have already wasted so much time. And one more thing I would like you to mention that this, uh, I have built a two series of this video. One, a very fast forward, you will see only the outcome program in one minute and another who want to learn these things in detail can see a detailed version of the video. So let's guys, okay, this is my program. Okay, that's my main agent I have used here. So uh, the deep cures reinforcement learning require action size. I have already told you three action size, buy, sell, and hold. So my action size are three. I have used 10 samples of close price to perform the next movement. So my state size will be fed from the train model. The model, uh, this is the model name, which is by the name of the model, the, my pre-train model is being saved. I have used 10,000 memory length. The longer is the memory length, accurate will be our Q model. But the only problem with the memory length is it further slow down the model. So my program is already running. This part is built on very high level. API using Keras, okay. I have used three layer of LSTM, one dropout to avoid the overfitting of the model, there after flatten. Flatten I have used to linearize the output of LSTM, then the dense layer as a single output with activation linear and the kernel I have used here. Now kernel initialization was normal. The optimizer I, I have used here, Adam with a learning rate 0 0.001, loss is MSC. The model summary shall be printed at the bottom of, uh, at here. Let me show you model summary. My program is already uh, already running, so that I can show you the model summary. The first LSTM layer, the, the input is 10, none. None is the batch size, 10 is my close, uh, 10 last previous, 10 close price, one is for uh, appending a, a two, two di three dimensional array because LSTM take three dimensional array. First layer, uh, the number of that are taken here, the filter is 32. So outcome of first layer is 32, 10, none. None means bad size, you can say 32, 10 by 32. Thereafter, the second layer outcome would be th 32, 10, 64. I, because the second layer, the number of filter I have used in second layer is 64 and total number of parameter I have obtained here 24,832. Thereafter, uh, the outcome of third layer is 120, 32, 10, 128 and the total number of param trainable parameter I have obtained here is 98,816. The final outcome will be fed into dense layer after the flat end okay and it is being trained for three action sites okay at the very beginning few episode uh, in zero episode buy sell is occur you know uh, when you build this program it, uh, it, it takes a lot of time to uh, learn and train itself so i haven't uh, i don't want you to see full training because it takes around 40 and 50 days to train itself okay so prior i have already saved my a small model which is being trained with a small network and perform the trading as uh, the one output I have shown in the beginning of the video. Okay, uh, deep Q reinforcement learning always always walk through uh, uh, the two process uh, uh, exploitation and exploration. In deep Q and reinforcement learning, uh, the one of the most important parameter at the very beginning, it with the, it basically produce its own input without uh, produce an output without being trained, and then it the output will be will be compared with the target vector and uh, the uh, out the, whatever the output is taken, it is being compared with the reward, and if 
corresponding uh, the previous outcome will perform a future reward then it is known as to be best root best action shall be taken in the future otherwise it re, re perform the action and will and keeps learning by itself even uh, even from the uh, uh, from the memory side whatever it is learned basically uh, there is a part of exploitation comes into deep neural reinforcement learning that if it always uh, move toward a particular pattern then it will never able to f explore the full environment that what are the other possible cases to maximize the reward so in certain cases it also take an act exploitation action in which it tries to find the um, the uh, the other possible way to maximize the reward this is my main agent i uh, i have already ex uh, explained you because uh, in uh, i have already explained you so now the training is script will comes into it i have used apple 2019 uh, stock data which which is now training the training is going on and the episode count is 10,000 okay so though 10,000 episode takes very long time and finally the inventory agent inventory is the memory length where the previous 10,000 action corresponding to data is being stored in my memory what I have stored my state my action out of three what action shall be performed what reward it is being obtained what will be the next outcome of that state or whether the Finally, all the trade uh, finally done means that whether the full trading cycle is being per completed or not. If done is true, that means whatever the trade can be possible shall be performed by the agent. And finally, what will the what reward it is being it is obtained. So this is all about the training process. Now I'm going to show you my. Uh, my evaluation script here so for the evaluation i have this script uh, as my program is already running on the backend side so i cannot uh, go to the same compiler but i will show you how my evaluation script work and what output it is obtaining so guys, this is my evaluation script and I'm going to show you how my evaluation script is performing. Right now my model is uh, saved here, uh, the main main weights by the name of main weights. My data is here, I can use any, of, any one of the data. So right now I'm using here test data. Let me show you my test data. So test data is having a price open high low close and adjacent close I'm using here close price only. So uh, while if I'm, I'm going to use here uh, I, uh, if I'm having a different format of data then I, I have built another type of script. So let's move forward and let's see what type of outcome sort of outcome trading board is obtained. So it keeps on performing to uh, the certain action, whether it is buying something or selling something corresponding to the previous learn tutorial. As you can see here, whenever the price goes down corresponding to particular buy, it performs the sales and obtain a profit with a single trade. Let's say in, in here it is obtaining $67 of profit here it also lo lose something things like that so overall it perform a certain action and achieve a very good significant amount of profit at the end in theory okay guys so uh, i'm not saying that after building this program you just start uh, implementing this trading board on some other some platforms like uh, like in india share kinds of famous platform like in forex uh, you can use iq option and other things but don't do things like that P please understand how trading is actually work okay if you don't have any idea just call me and take some classes from the expert that how you would be able to perform trades how you will how you would be able to build your own if you want to if you want to build your own trading systems or a 
cryptocurrency if you want to predict cryptocurrency just uh, just take some classes from the expert and call me we provide various type of services uh, and uh, if you want to learn deep learning reinforcement learning and if you are you are thinking to build some prototype and you are a startup please call me and don't forget to subscribe my video uh, subscribe my channel and like my video if you like it okay guys so have a nice day thanks for watching bye bye